my name is David Wiley. Uh, my academic home is Brigham Young University. Uh, and currently what I'm doing with design-based research is uh, really focusing on the continuous improvement aspects of that uh, method with regard to improving textbooks for general education courses, high enrolling courses where books are typically really expensive. Uh, and in place of those expensive books, we put in open educational resources. And, and a big part of why we put in open educational resources is because they're licensed in such a way that you can make changes and improvements to them, which means that the whole idea of these iterative cycles that are affiliated with design-based research of try and improve and try and improve and tweak as you go, um, you actually have the permission to engage in that kind of activity when you're using open content. From my perspective, it seems like it's very much in its infancy um, still. I'm sure there are other people who tell you it's far more developed and I just haven't read the literature enough, which I'm guilty as charged on that. Um, but where I see it going is I see it going someplace where it makes the kind of difference, makes the kind of impact on quality and cost and things that something like uh, the Toyota manufacturing system made on the automotive industry. Um, I think it, I think it eventually has a really important place in what we do after we gain a little more experience and sophistication about how we, how we approach it. You know, the lean manufacturing process is about, um, it's about improving quality. Uh, it's about improving quality by empowering the people who are engaged directly in production. Um, so you might be familiar with the idea that on a Toyota production line, any single worker on the line can pull a cord that stops the entire line. Right? If they find a defect in a part that came to them, something they're supposed to do, they can stop, they can improve, they can start again. Um, and there is this idea of improvement over time, lots of people being involved, everyone being empowered, it's not being driven by a single, um, you know, kind of like the, the manager is telling you how you're going to make your job better. And I think, um, I think the, the transfer from that into kind of the design-based research world is it's not just a researcher telling a teacher what they need to do, <clears throat> but it's very much a partnership between all the people who are involved, in my mind. Um, there might be other perspectives on that, but, um, but you know, it's people working together with a real focus on improvement, with a real focus on quality, with a real focus on kind of valuing everybody's contribution and empowering anybody to veto or to pull the cord or hit the button or whatever they need to do to say, this is bad, and if we don't fix it, I'm going to keep getting bad, you know, it's, it's going to continue to be bad. Um, how do we improve that over time? And the kinds of gains in productivity and quality and efficiency, you know, that we saw based on that were really incredible. And instructional design could use some of that. Well, you can't try to solve world hunger, right? I mean, you have to take a problem that you can break down into, and you have to be creative about how you break it down because it might seem like the natural cycle time is a one-year cycle. Well, that might be natural, but now it's on you to be more creative to figure out how to make that a one-month cycle or a three-month cycle. So you can get through it four or five or 12 times in a year. Um, and again, that's a matter of adjusting our thinking. We think when we think education, we think formal, we think semesters, or we think academic years. Gotta, gotta get beyond that. Get into your mind this idea of cycles, you know, the idea of loops. Not, not don't ask questions like, does this work or not? Ask questions like, how can I make this work better? Um, I think as, as researchers, we tend to want to ask questions about which works best, this or this, when really maybe a more productive question to ask is, how do I make this work better? I mean, there's, there's very little that's just completely bankrupt, right? Um, how do I make this work better in this context? Um, so first I'd say change your mindset about the type of question that you ask. How can I make this better as opposed to which one is better? Because they're not, no matter what you're comparing, those aren't stable entities in time that can never be improved or, or built on. Get used to this idea of cycles. Read the lean literature. Read the Cathedral and the Bazaar by Eric Raymond, right? This whole idea of release early, release often, engage your users, make them into co-contributors and co-developers. Um, 
read Tom Reeves, the Tom Reeves book, the stuff that Tom writes has been really influential in my thinking. I'm sure there's other good writing as well, but uh, I'm a fan of Tom's stuff. Thank you.